Hey guys, Delicracy here and welcome to part nine of Let's Build Apartments. Uh, I said in the last part we would be in the last part we would be finishing up, but we took too long, or I took too long, so uh, we're finishing off the penthouse in this part. Uh, but anyways, just to give you guys a heads up, uh, we decided to go for like a really clean and super contemporary um like lots of black and white and red apartment aesthetic uh, here. And uh, I've actually gone ahead and put in um, the bathrooms and we've got this fireplace and quite a small lounge area. Uh, and then I've also gone ahead and decorated a kid's bedroom because I figured I'd just go ahead and do that off camera because I just started doing it and I didn't stop. <laughs> so all we really have to do in this last part is the study area or skill building area and the mezzanine master bedroom. Uh, so this is the bathroom, black, white and mirror. And I'm also going to point out to you guys that we did some black backlit lighting behind the mirrors. Uh, but in the end, I just wanted to have full mirror splashbacks. So I've just gone ahead and done that. And it's not custom content. I've just placed an extra um, mirror over the crack in the normal mirrors to make it like full mirror. Anyways, let's get into it. So for the study area, I did say in the last part that I kind of envisioned that this apartment would belong to a businessman uh, who is very serious about his work. He's a single dad. And uh, yeah, that's kind of in my head, the type of sim I'm making this penthouse for. And it's really funny because in this series, I've kind of gone back and forth regarding, you know, whether or not these apartments have sims living in them or if they are just being made as basic apartments. Uh, so they're not overly personalized. But for this penthouse, I'm kind of putting a backstory in there because a lot of you guys wanted it to kind of be super, super duper modern. So I thought, you know what, let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, maybe he's into a chef TV show. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I like this because the guy's in a business suit with diamonds. So maybe we'll just put that up there above the computer. Uh, I think we're going to keep this room pretty simple. Just thinking about a desk chair. Let's go with a traditional uh, on wheels desk chair, just like that. Oh, I don't really like that chair actually. Why don't we use the get to work one for a little bit of a change? Uh, ooh, that green's quite nice. That off white's quite nice, that blue's quite nice. Uh, let's go with the green, I like it. I like it for a change. Does this come in a greeny color? I don't think so. Uh, not really, that's just a teal. Uh, that's all right, we'll just go with green and gray and maybe we can put a bit of a rug in. Oh, that rug seems a little bit big, doesn't it? Uh, that one's too big as well. Not that one, not that one. Hmm, where's the little ruggies? Something like that could be nice. Just underneath the desk. Uh, yeah, we can go with that green and gray theme maybe. And a bookshelf on the other side. Uh, probably makes sense. It really doesn't suit the rest of apartment, this wood grain. It's a shame there's not more uh, colors for this bookshelf because it's such a handy size. But then again, we do have a window there. Oh, I just got a delivery, one second. Oh my gosh, you guys, I literally just got sent a Battlefield 1 onesie. <laughs> it's awesome. It's like black shiny material with this red like I don't know even how to explain it. I guess fire stuff on it. It's pretty cool. I do love a free onesie, I have to say. So that's nice. I've actually been getting sent a lot of things lately. And it's nice, but it's kind of got to the stage as well where I'm like, I can't fit everything in my apartment, even though I really appreciate it all. Um, but I mean, it's, it's certainly not a bad problem to have. I should not complain. So that's kind of cool. Kind of also think it would be nice to have a second screen on this desk. I'm thinking, hmm. Oh, I'm also starting a new gym class tonight. I'm starting uh, doing body combat, it's called, and apparently it's inspired by martial arts uh, or different martial arts. So I'm, I don't know, I'm kind, of, I'm kind of pumped, but I'm also nervous because I've never done it before and I always get 
like nervous before starting a new gym class. I don't know why, because like you shouldn't be because everyone's got to start somewhere. But I still like I still get a little bit like, oh, let's put a future cube there just because I feel bad that no one uses <laughs> the future cube. Uh, let's also do a bit of a skill building object. That would be nice in the corner. Oh, although I don't know what we can really fit there. We could put a chess table, but we can only have one player, which isn't ideal. Maybe we could go with a bonsai. Mm, I don't feel like my businessman in my head would like to... Oh, maybe he's into his bonsai because he gets so stressed at work. He just, like, shaping his bonsai is the thing on the side that he does to relax. Which reminds me, I do want to go floating again and I do want to vlog it for you guys because a lot of you guys have been asking about it. Uh, I'm by no means an expert on floating, but when I talk about floating, I'm talking about the isolation tank. Uh, but I don't know, at least I could tell you guys my experience of why I like it and why I think it benefits me. I really want to get sponsored by floating. That would be so good because then I wouldn't have to pay to go all the time because it is expensive. That's the only negative about it is that it's a really expensive thing. So unfortunately, I can't do it very often. All right. I think that's a nice little office. I like that there's a break from the green. I mean, from the red. Let's work on this master bedroom. All right. I think what we'll do is... I actually thought we could build a little wall there and actually have the bed here and a nice inset area. So you know what? I think I'm going to go with my gut and do that because I kind of like that it's a unique floor plan and this can be a wardrobe area. So let's get a nice bed. Uh, oh my God, I can't wait to get the new beds that are coming with City Living. They're really nice. They're really nice beds. And uh, finally we get like a basic bed too. So I am pumped for that. Uh, maybe we'll put the bedside table on the other side. Um, trying to stay away from the blue colors, but why don't we do this color? I don't think I use this bed very often in that colorway. And then I have to say, I am beginning to struggle a lot with the limited swatches. Like how long have we been playing Sims 4 on this channel for? Like since it came out, so a while, <laughs> quite a while actually. Uh, so I think it's pretty understandable for it like, to become difficult once you get to a certain stage. Oh, and that reminds me, I can actually use this on this wall if we wanna go super matchy. No, I can't do it, you guys, that's too matchy. Too matchy matchy for me. Let's just keep it real. Let's keep it real nice like that. Okay, lots of black in this apartment. Really? I could go like that. Mm. Or we could neutralize it just with gray. Maybe we would go like that. Yeah, I think that's all right. I think, yeah, we'll go with that. Okay, so uh, we're going to need a clock in here because Mr. Businessman likes to be on time. Uh, and then let's get a nice little lamp on the side of his bed. How many of you guys actually use a bedside lamp? Because I know a lot of people who don't have bedside lamps. I'm like, how do you live your life? <laughs> I would find it so frustrating hopping into bed and not turning off a lamp next to me. I mean, like, I would find it so frustrating having to get up rather to turn off the light instead of having a lamp next to me. That would be just super annoying. So I just don't get it how some, some people just don't have a bedside lamp. Like why? Why do that to yourself? <laughs> uh, is this clock, like, could we get a nicer colorway? Yeah, we can get the blue. That's cool. Ah, I like that. Me, like you. Okay. Uh, let's get a rug under here. I think that might be nice. And do we have anything? I still want to keep it kind of sleek. I mean, this gets really like gamer looking. Does that make sense to you guys? When I say that looks gamer looking. Just, I don't know. Could use that and just have that corner of the room all black, but 
Yeah, not feeling it. Oh, we go like this. Not feeling that either. It just doesn't fit into the room very well. I mean, the other option is we go down and take. I mean, no one really wants concrete there, do they? We could have floorboards. You know what? I'm going to keep it simple and just keep it as it is. I mean, I know I have a habit of overdoing it when it comes to decorating sometimes. And it suits some houses, but we don't need to over decorate every room. So we'll keep it simple. Oh my gosh, that's the scariest thing to put above your bed. No, we are not doing that. I think we've already got this picture in the house somewhere. Mm. Let's put a TV on the wall. I feel like he would have a TV in here. Let's go to uh, electronics. TVs and let's get the little one. I'm so glad we got this little TV. Makes me so happy. Yay! <laughs> Pretty. All right. Ah, it's the little things in life that make Deli happy. Okay, so over here we could probably actually fit in a full-on wardrobe. But I'm thinking about you guys who might not have uh, the expansion pack with wardrobes in it. So let's maybe stick to just a normal, normal wardrobe. Uh, I'll go with the base game one. Why is there no black base game? That's okay, we can use white. Ugh, it's so stark though. This looks kind of gangster. Maybe we go with the gray ones, go with those gray walls. I guess it kind of works. So we can put a little chair next to there in case you want to sit down whilst you put on your shoes in the morning. Uh, let's maybe go for a... I know that's a bit boring though, isn't it? I do like our little egg chairs. I think these egg chairs are cool. I think it comes in a brighter blue. Oh, it's not quite right though. Is there a black and white one? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, and I also think we should put a mirror on this wall. I think we'll just go with a mirror that clips onto the wall as opposed to a stand up one because it might start getting a little bit cramped for Sims trying to walk through. I could go double mirror actually mirrored double mirror wall that's kind of nice I quite like that whoops I got some plastic flying around uh, near my door that's from my onesie my onesie packaging let's not do those let's go with oh, I love Bob pancakes let's put Bob on the wall Bob ba 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 ooh photos mm. Let's just go with something relaxing like a desert landscape. Oh, how well does that go with the wall? The gray and silver matches perfectly. Yes. Okay, where are the, I want to get that pile of shirts. Mmm, nice one. Let's change the color of them just to be a little bit experimental. And yeah, we can maybe even fit in a hat stand. Nah, getting cramped. Uh, let's see. Maybe we could also put in some clone yes put that in a box of goodies mm, doesn't fit old sports team memories that's beautiful okay and then a couple of books on there capish all righty and then I know some of you guys would want me to extend this up to here but I'm not going to do it because I just think too much red too much going on so we're gonna keep it clean clean and simple and we might get rid of that just because uh, of the crossover there cool a very simple master bedroom but a very nice master bedroom yeah cool I mean we could put a big painting on this wall like a big one like a world map Burp. Uh, I do like keeping that black frame thing going on. Yeah, I like this. I like that. I think that looks kind of cool. All right. So finally, let's work on this beautiful deck area. I know a lot of you guys were asking for a hot tub. So maybe we should do that. Hot tub. What's a 
is that movie Hot Tub Time Machine? I've never seen that, but I always think of the title. It's a very catchy title. Uh, activities and skills. Or is it in plumbing? I always get confused. I think I go back to Sims 3 or Sims 1 days or something when I look for hot tubs. Uh, okay. We don't really call them hot tubs either. We call them spa baths here in Australia. It's kind of weird calling it a hot tub. All right. So let's see the different patterns that we have available. Mm, or maybe we should go with the wood one. This one seems a little bit more realistic. So we've got the black color or the white. I kind of like the white one with the gray on top. That looks really nice. Yay. And you guys were also talking about a bar. So maybe he likes to schmooze the ladies. He's a single dad, maybe looking for another lover. So, or maybe he schmoozes the men. Who knows? Mm -hmm. I like these bars because they look so outdoorsy. The nice thing is that we can easily extend this out if we want to. Although we don't want that... Uh, do not want this wall not to have that other half wall. I like it to match, please. Uh, oh, I don't like that though. We need the lower one. Oh, that's awkward. They're going to topple off. <laughs> Maybe we can't do that actually, but what we can do is maybe I'll get rid of this and pull that back like that. There we are. So just extended a little bit just so we have a little bit of extra room for our little rooftop bar area and you know what I actually think we can go like that yeah that's okay oh what happened to the to the wall on this side hmm, how peculiar okay make that go around there it'll do Okay, so we've got our hot tub, got our little bar. Do we want to center the bar or put it to the side? I think, I think that's okay. And we can get some nice stools. So you can hang out on the rooftop. Such a beautiful view. Isn't that gorgeous looking out onto the lake area? This is prime real estate if you ask me. I think it looks pretty good. And we can go for the gray ones, maybe. They match the dining chairs downstairs, so I kind of like that. And it's not too far away from uh, the spa bath, you know, the whites. Unless we wanted to actually match the other side of this bar over here, but I don't think so. I like it like that. I think. Oh, yeah. No, I'm happy. I'm happy I like it like that. Uh, the other thing is we could actually push that back a little bit and have some kind of sun baking towel as well. In case you want to get a little bit of a tan. We could put that in. Nah, not into that. Could have a little bit of a rooftop garden as well. That's actually a nice idea because he does have his bonsai plant that he likes to tend to to wear off the stress of work. I'm going to put a little cluster of plants over here. Maybe just one or two that we can use as planters. And I'm actually going to just, for now, place in, uh, I'm gonna place in some trees just to make it look pretty in our screenshots, but I would suggest removing them for your gameplay if you do download this build, uh, which will now be on the gallery because we've almost finished it. So feel free to download it off the gallery and do let me know what you think of this build as well because it was definitely requested a lot to do another Let's Build series. And I, I didn't do it for quite a while, quite some time. So it was nice to get back into it and uh, enjoy decision making with you guys. So I'm totally up for another, uh, another Let's Build series if you guys want one. Just let me know what kind of Let's Build series in the comments down below and I'll try my best to please the masses. And let's get, wait, where's all the fitness stuff? Just, okay, it must be in uh, this one. 
under health. There we go. Sometimes I miss, I miss all of that stuff though. I'm aware of that. Oh, and I want to get the lemonade too. Okay, it's in appliances. That's a tough one to find. Let's just put that there. So on a sunny day, you can have a lemon spritz if you want it. If you want it. That's cute. I like this. I like this little outdoor area. Yeah. And maybe last of all, we just put one little decoration up on this bar. What would we like to decorate it with? I feel like something with a little bit of character like a garden gnome would be a bit cute if he can sit up there on that bench. Ah, yes. <laughs> it's kind of in the way though of the chair, so we might just put him down here. Cute. All right, guys, well, I reckon we've finished this. Uh, let's just take a quick look around before we go into the screenshots. So, okay, exterior, do we wanna change the lighting? Okay, so this is the exterior. Beautiful apartments here with some fun, like sticky outy bits. I do like what we ended up doing for the exterior. I think it's very, uh, it's actually, you could easily see something like this in Melbourne. So I am curious to hear uh, what other places in the world you reckon you would see this? Would you see this where you guys are from or is this something very different to what you would see near where you live? Uh, so if we go down to the first floor, I'm going to keep the walls up so we can see the, uh, the floor plan really clearly. But you go through this main door and there's like a nice light fixture on the wall and you see like a little outdoor patio and the stairwell is to the right of that as well as uh, first apartment, which you can't actually access into the next level. So uh, we've got a two bedroom apartment over here. We've got a, hmm, we have a two bedroom apartment over here as well. And then a one bedroom studio. And then if we pop up to another one, there's another one bedroom studio over here. And then the two to three bedroom uh, penthouse with the rooftop garden. So let's go into some screenshots right now. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this series. Do let me know what series you would like to see next. Uh, if you want a break from this style of thing, or if you just want to have more that you can just tune into and relax with. I love chatting to you guys and I love having this series as a laid back, easy series to record and also easy series to be able to talk with you guys and also socialize with you guys. So I'm keen to read your comments. If you have any ideas of what we should do next, be sure to post them down below in the comments. And of course, this will be up on the gallery for download. Uh, so feel free to do so if you would like to. It was built with base game only. Um, and then of course the furnishing, we used a mix of stuff packs, but the actual build itself, it should be almost all base game. Anyways, you guys, I hope you are having a lovely morning, afternoon or evening, wherever you are in the world. I look forward to speaking to you soon.